Hey, welcome back. It's Yvonne Wakefield's YouTube channel. I need to tell you this little story aside from reading about my, about my books, Babe in the Woods. So my YouTube producer, Arturo, invited me to go to his home or his mother-in-law's home for Easter lunch, brunch, no, it must have been late lunch, um, last Sunday. And so I went, yeah, okay, that, that's great. But I went to mass with them first. And I was like raised very, very Catholic. And who among you Catholics lapsed or not remember your confirmation name? Mine was Elizabeth, Yvonne, Mary, Elizabeth, Pepin. Then I added Wakefield after I got married. So I went to the mass with them and it was the Mexican mass at St. Mary's Church in Hood River, Oregon. And their whole family was upstairs in the balcony playing the music. And I was invited up there. It was like, this is the family party. There were little kids. There were cousins. There were grandpas. There were grandmas. And everybody was like playing guitar and violin. And I was just like amazed at this music because it was so unlike what I was raised in the Catholic churches I went into. It was like this organ music. Like, oh, oh repent. Anyway, so I was looking down over the balcony and it's like, I was the only not Mexican person there. And there were all these like little kids. I actually counted 28 little kids. Not one of those kids cried in an over one and a half hour mass. And those kids were like getting passed from person to person, like probably wasn't near with their mom or anything. So when it goes time for, to take Holy Communion, I hadn't taken Holy Communion for a few years. So I followed Arturo's mother-in-law and father-in-law down the aisle to the priest, and I'm going, oh, I forget, what should I say when I get the host in my mouth? And so I get up there, and it's like, I can't remember what to say. And I almost said, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. And I went, no, 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 that's for the confessional booth. So I just kind of like took the host and put it in my mouth like I was taught at my first Holy Communion, and you can't let it touch the sides of your mouth or the roof of your mouth. So I got my host, and then I went over to the chalice to drink just a little sip of wine. And then I realized, oh man, if I do that, then the host is going to touch the roof of my mouth. So I did that and I can't remember what the host did. And then I just went back down the aisle and then I went back up to join Arturo's music party. But then, so we go to his mother-in-law's house and it's like, kind of like when I was raised as a kid, there was like a million cousins all around and the adults were in one place. And they had like, they have Mexican food. If you go to his house for dinner or for food, you're never going to go to a Mexican restaurant again. So he says, Arturo says, I'm going to make you a taco. So he makes me like two tacos and they're like really great, but I can't eat the second one. So I say, can I take this home? He said, no, no, it'll get cold. So we ate my taco. And I said, but I really wanted that taco. So Monica, his love of his life, made me another taco. And it was like so totally different from his taco. And I'm going, these people are like have signature tacos. So it, the long story short, it was just a great way to experience literally another culture, but a huge family that's so interconnected and supportive. And um, I'll give you a review of next Easter's party. See you next week. Stay hydrated.